Don't underestimate how valuable it is to have professional experience um, as a recent college grad. This can translate too to all of our awesome alums who did an internship abroad. Having interviewed a number of people who are fresh from an undergraduate experience, um, that's not to say that you can't tease out amazing things from your degree, but it is still relatively rare to have something that um, is, is professional and that can translate into so many different professional workplace um, environments. So for example, by participating as an ambassador, you now have remote work experience. You now know how extremely important it is to keep lines of communication open, to ask great clarifying questions to make sure you fully understand a job in which you will not be getting daily face time with your supervisor. You know how important it is to craft what you accomplished in your lines of reporting so that you can really elevate your successes to the person that is supervising you and collaborating with you. And all of these things translate really well on a resume for almost any workplace environment. Um, in the same way that Megan uh, suggested keeping um, kind of a, a success log for your time abroad, I suggest doing that as an ambassador as well. So whether it is, um, you know, the, the things that make you feel good about the position, the ways in which you were able to really support students in a meaningful way, or whether it's more that hard data of, I got up in front of a group of 100 individuals and gave a meaningful presentation. Anything you can do to provide specific numbers beyond, behind the amount of outreach you did, numbers behind um, who came to the table, who you engaged with, and then also just teasing out what it really takes to step into a role like this when you are still a student, when you have a lot on your plate, um, that's really going to make you shine. And I know this ambassador position is something that students are doing in tandem um, with a full-time academic um, uh, load in place. And so this may feel like a, a lighter level position, but don't, again, to just replicate what Jose just said, don't um, take it lightly. Really take the opportunity to leverage it and leverage your success in the role. And if at any point you want to come to me or Michelle or anyone at the CEA Capitin and um, get some assistance in teasing out the specifics, I'm going to invite anyone who took the time today to be here or to register for this to please reach out, whether it's related to your study abroad experience or to, to your um, ambassador experience um, to help tease out some of those features. Um, and then the same thing in terms of speaking about it in an interview, um, really customizing it to the conversation, again, taking the time to go ahead and build some story around what you're accomplishing as an ambassador. And I think it always shows great professional growth that you started by studying or interning abroad. You took a sincere interest in what you developed through that experience, and then you translated it to the next step in your professional journey, which was taking the time to apply for this professional opportunity where you are being able to then tease out the things that you're learning and apply them in a new setting and you're only going to grow from there. So really thinking through that entire journey, leaning into the time that you're taking to put into this, um, all of those things are, are um, it's a great way to start in terms of helping you really shine as it relates to the alumni ambassador position.